Hello. So in today we will see means how to derive with the Bernoulli equation. Okay. So first of all, what we are considering means in means suppose a, a fluid is flowing along a streamline. Suppose this is a streamline and fluid is flowing along a streamline. So what we will do? First of all, we will take a fluid element. Consider a fluid element like this. Okay. This is the fluid element. Say so, suppose this is a fluid element is flowing uh, flowing along a streamline having the velocity vector is a uh, having a velocity vector which is a function of what this is a function of space and time okay and uh, the the pressure p is uh, the pressure p is in upper, upper stream is uh, p and the pressure which is acting along the downstream that is you say p plus uh, del p upon you say del s into delta s okay if i am saying this is you know that is uh, the length of this fluid element is a uh, ds so what i will mean say uh, there are two forces there are two types of forces which are acting here one is the pressure force uh, which is acting along the streamline and another force which is a body force that is uh, which is acting in the downward direction say the force which is acting in the downward direction that is and um, this is actually due to the weight and uh, this is actually due to the weight so this is mg i can also write it like this this is rho and uh, rho into delta a the fluid element having a uh, adi delta a into delta s into g okay and uh, say the fluid element is making an angle theta with the streamline so this angle i am saying theta means i am writing here you say here this is i am writing here it is theta so the component also means in this we can also split the component so the means when we will do the force balance then we will see means how we are splitting the components okay and one thing i have to say that uh, the vertical height you say this this vertical height and the distance of this vertical height is delta z okay now just uh, by newton second law of motion that is what uh, that is uh, force equals force equals ma now i am not doing anything just doing the force balance or you say momentum balance for solving for for getting a bernoulli equation bernoulli equation okay here we are assuming the fluid is ideal assume assume fluid is ideal so that what viscosity will be zero viscosity equal zero okay and now since uh, just i am going to do the force balance or you say momentum balance here means uh, so how we will do this is uh, force balance so i can also write it i mean to acceleration i can write it dv upon dt this is actually substantial derivative okay so and the forces which is acting means uh, what are the forces which is acting here so the forces are what means uh, this is actually the forces which is in upstream that is p into delta a and the forces which in opposite uh, the forces which is acting here means uh, that will be here what uh, the force which is acting here is what uh, that is due to p plus uh, delta p upon delta s into delta s into delta a okay and uh, one the body force uh, which will means when we will take the component of body force in this uh, in the in the in 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 this direction okay in this direction i'm saying so the what will component uh, component of mg will be here that will be since the force is fluid this since the fluid is fluid flowing along this direction if i'm taking this direction is positive so this direction we will consider here negative okay so it will be rho into delta a into delta s into g cos theta okay so up till here it is clear now here means i will replace cos theta cos theta equals what cos theta if i am saying so cos theta equals this will be delta z upon delta s from here means from the picture we can say this is actually this is delta z upon delta s okay so means uh, just by means uh, suppose if i am saying the fluid element uh, the length of the fluid is very very very, very infinite so very small so it will be what uh, i can also write it 
limit delta s tends to 0 or this is delta z upon delta s so I can write it it like dz upon ds okay clear so now what I will do here here I will do nothing so and, and, and. okay so I'm into it. so here what uh, I'm going to write it this is actually this is actually m to upon okay so, so, um, so I will write m m is equal to rho into v so you say you say actually m into v and the velocity component everything so it will be dv upon dt okay this I can also write this component and this part this will get cancelled so the part will be here minus del p upon delta s into delta s into delta a okay uh, this is what rho actually I can write I have to write it like this rho into delta a into delta s this is delta a into delta s minus rho delta a delta s g dz upon ds so what i will what i'm going to do here this is getting cancelled both on both side okay so the final value we will get this is like this we will get this is i can say dv upon dt equals minus 1 upon rho del p by del s minus i can say it that is g dz upon this okay so actually this is what this is the substantial derivative and uh, it has in two components one is uh, what uh, it, it is also split into two parts uh, since this is acceleration acceleration has two components uh, one is you say con one is uh, i am saying the temporal acceleration okay this means a temporal acceleration which is a function of time plus another part is the, the acceleration which is a function of space or say spatial coordinates or you say convective acceleration okay so this will be this much this okay now for some for solving this what we will do say I'm writing it here, okay. So, since uh, I'm writing it here, that is delta V by delta T. Okay. So, delta S is equals minus one upon delta V, delta S minus J into this is this okay so means uh, this is actually this is what this is none other than the Euler equation we are saying it Euler equation but also you can say this is Euler equation okay now for getting Bernoulli's equation we are assuming some means we are considering some assumptions that is flow is steady first assumptions we made Assumptions flow is steady. So flow, flow is steady. It means what? You say for steady flow. What will be that? Delta v by delta t. This will be zero. Okay. And also another that is what this is delta p by delta t equals zero. So if from here I am getting that is v is a function of s only and from here p is a function of s only okay now i can write it like this so del v upon delta s del v upon delta s equals minus 1 by rho del p by del s minus j into 
नीचे डेको डीएस ओके नाउ आई एम व्हाट एम डी आई एम इंटीग्रेटिंग इट ओके इंटीग्रेटिंग देन बी बाय डेलिस इक्वल्स जस्ट व्हाट एम डी इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो इनसे हियर So, 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 here is B, okay. so what is it? B. So this will be what minus one by two del P by del S. I will be integration since this is constant minus G D Z by D S into D S into D S. So it will be V S by by two. Plus P by do plus G Z equals constant and equals constant and this is actually what this is pressure energy per unit mass this is actually what this is kinetic energy per unit mass kinetic energy per unit mass this is pressure energy per unit Mass and this is what potential energy per unit mass and this is actually what uh, this is actually a Bernoulli equation. What is Bernoulli equation? So I can say that this means uh, the definition of the Bernoulli equation. I can write it: the total mechanical energy along a streamline is constant. What is the total? along a stream line is what constant okay so this is actually Bernoulli equation okay and if uh, means uh, so means what are the assumptions we made here means if the assumptions what the assumptions we made here that is means uh, for considering Bernoulli equation that uh, yeah, means, uh, means uh, what SF double SF double I okay means what this is for a steady state assumptions frictionless okay and this is inviscid and incompressible means these are these are the these are the assumptions we are considering for deriving the Bernoulli equation and if I will say that uh, if another assumption if I'm saying that uh, this I I means uh, I stands for a depressional then means what uh, the total mechanical energy along the flow field is constant it means what the total mechanical energy the total mechanical energy means along the flow field will be constant okay so this is Bernoulli's equation and uh, in terms of if you write uh, in terms of head so it will be write it as So in terms of head, if I will say means how we will write it, then nothing. Just I have to do, do divide it by g. So p1 upon rho g plus v1 square plus 2g upon plus uh, this only z1. So this is what this is. This is pressure energy per unit weight per unit. But it is also termed as head. This is pressure head. Pressure head. This is kinetic energy per unit. But this is also termed as kinetic head. And this will be what kinetic energy. This is potential energy. Potential energy per unit. But also I can say it. Potential head and all having the unit of meter, all having the unit of meter. Okay, so this is the derivation of Bernoulli equation. Okay, and this is actually constant. Clear? Okay, thank you.